I'm Tommy Reed, founder of 7 Decibels, and today I've got an exciting new product to share with you. Our iPads have so much to say. We use them to watch our favorite shows and movies, jam to our favorite music, and even pass time with incredible games. But there's one flaw that affects all of us who own an iPad, and that's its rear-facing speaker. It forces us to cup our hands behind the iPad to get that full range of audio. There have been attempts to fix this problem, however no one has delivered a solution that lives up to the same exacting attention to detail, craftsmanship, and elegance that we've come to appreciate by owning an Apple product. Until now, I'd like to introduce you to Sabine. For Sabine, we picked the best materials and manufacturing processes available. Sabine is laser cut from a single piece of aluminum, and there's a subtle bend at the end to match the curvature of the iPad. To finish Sabine, we use clear anodization. This is the same process that Apple uses to finish their products like iPad. To get Sabine to clean the iPad, we searched for the perfect material. We knew it had to be able to attach securely, but be taken off as often as needed. We found the perfect material that allows Sabine to be attached and removed over and over. It doesn't use adhesive, it leaves no residue, and if it loses its grip, you simply wash it off and let it dry. To ensure superior sound quality, we studied the acoustical reflectance of different materials. And we found that aluminum is over six times better at reflecting the sound than plastic. We agonize over every detail of Sabine, from the finish to the bend that matches the curvature of the iPad. Even the radius of the four corners went through several iterations and multiple prototypes until we got it just right. This attention to detail becomes apparent when you begin using Sabine. It's thin enough to not get in the way when stowed, yet strong enough to stand up to heavy everyday use. The goal with Sabine was simple. We wanted to eliminate the need to cup our hands around the iPad, but do so in a way that complemented Apple's design language by using superior materials and clean, elegant lines. We are crazy about the way it turned out, and we hope you'll love it as much as we do. Thank you for watching, and thanks for your support.